Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Francesca and today I will be guiding you in this morning class, perfect to awaken the body and start your day full of energy. Let's start at the top of the mat in mountain pose, roll the shoulders back, close your eyes. And start to take a long deep breath in and out through the nose. Take this moment in stillness, travel on the mat, to focus on your practice. Noticing the grounding sensation in your feet on the mat, spine extended. Then open your eyes and bring the arms up towards the ceiling, take a deep breath in. And as your exhale fold, do Tanasana, hands down on the ground, bend the knees. Half a lift, open the chest, lengthen. As your exhale fold again, allowing the head to be heavy. Again, half a lift, open. Exhale, fold. One more time, half a lift, lengthen, open through the chest. And as your exhale fold, Slowly start to unroll the spine, rising up one vertebrae after the other one. Reaching up with the arms, take a deep breath in through the nose, lengthen, look up. And as you exhale, release back into your Tadasana mountain pose. Again, in our arms up, look up. Exhale, fold hands down on the ground. Half a lift, lengthen. This time, hands on the mat and step back into your plank. Drop the knees down on the ground, bend your arms, lower the chest on the floor. Then open the chest, cobra, up dog. And as you exhale, back into your down dog. Soften through the knees and hold it in stillness. Or if you prefer to add any movement here, since it's your first down dog, feel free to do that. And shift the gaze towards the top of the mat, step, half a lift. Exhale, fold. Unroll the spine, resting up. Get the arms up towards the ceiling, take a deep breath in, lengthen. And as you exhale, release back into your mountain pose. Again, arms up, look up as you lengthen. Exhale, fold, Uttanasana, hands down on the ground. Half a lift, open through the chest arch. Hands on the mat and step back into your plank. Option to lower the knees down, then bend your arms, lower the chest on the mat. Open the chest, cobra or up dog. As you exhale, roll over your toes back into your down dog. As before, see if you can find a little bit more stillness as you hold into your down dog. See bones up towards the ceiling as you shift the weight a little bit more on your legs. Then rippling through the spine, shift the weight forward into your plank. Bend the knees, arch open the chest and as you exhale, hips up and back down dog. Again, rippling forward into your plank, bend the knees, arch, look up, hips up and back. And keep doing these waves at your own pace. As you focus on warming up through the spine, warming up your legs, letting go of any unwanted tension. Deep breath in and out through the nose. The next time you find yourself into plank, hold it there. Push the ground away, keep the gaze forward. Engaging the space in between the shoulder blades. And as you exhale, release the knees down on the ground. Tabletop position. Then lift the right arm up, look up, lengthen. As you exhale, thread the right arm through. Drop the shoulder down on the mat. You can keep the left arm bent. You might extend it forward or even wrap it behind the back. So choose the option that is most suitable for you. Holding in this twist as you lengthen through the spine. Then release the left hand on the ground and start to rise back up, right arm up. And extend the right hand over the head, holding this to port side plank. Lengthening through the side of the body. Lift the right foot off the ground. Hold it here or bend the leg. Find your foot and start to kick up and away. Finding the constant and steady kick and lengthening. As you exhale, release and step right foot at the top of the mat in between the hands. Then bring the arms over the head, transitioning to your low lunge. Option to cross the fingers as you point the index up. Gently pushing forward with the hips as you elevate the chest higher, reaching higher and back with the hands. Then when you exhale, release, cross the hands behind the back, elevate the chest high as you actively push with the hands towards the ground. And as you exhale, extend the right leg out and long, start to fall towards the right leg, make your way into your half split. Hands cross behind the back, push with the hands away from your body. If this is too intense, you can always release the hands on the mat. To have that extra support. 
Whatever your option you choose is completely fine. Just stay here, relaxing your face muscle, the jaw. And as you exhale, release, bend again the right leg, tuck your left toe, lift the knee, shift away forward, standing split. Balancing onto the right foot as you elevate the left foot a little bit higher. Use the breath. And as you exhale, release, take a big step back with the left foot, place both hands on the ground, then lift the right arm up towards the ceiling, twist towards the right side, gaze follows the right hand. Take a moment here. And as you exhale, release again the right hand on the ground, step back into your plank. Chaturanga as you bend your arms. Open the chest, cobra or up dog. And as you exhale, roll over your toes back into your down dog. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Then running through the spine, make your way forward into your plank. You can hold in stillness or gently swing back and forth a few times. Then lower the knees down on the ground and lift the left arm up towards the side and the ceiling open. As you exhale, thread the left arm through, drop the left shoulder down on the ground. Right arm can stay bent. You can extend it forward or wrap it behind the back. So same options that you had before. Deciding how much weight you would like to place onto the left shoulder and pausing here for two more deep breaths. Then bend again the left right arm and rise back up, support a side plank, reaching over the head with the left arm. One more deep breath here. Then you got the option to bend the left leg, find your foot and start to kick up and away, finding that constant and steady kick and elongation. Just one more deep breath here. And as you exhale, release and step left foot in between the hands. Then bring the arms up towards the ceiling. Take a deep breath in through the nose as you lengthen. Look up and arch. Two more deep breaths. Just one last deep breath here. And as you exhale, release, cross the hands behind the back. Start to push with the hands towards the ground as you elevate the chest even higher. Opening through the chest. As you exhale, extend the left leg out along. And as you exhale, start to fall towards the left leg, pushing with the hands over the head. Keeping the left leg active, foot is flexed. Then as you exhale, release both hands on the ground, keep guiding the belly to the thigh. One last deep breath. Then bend the right leg. Then bend the left leg, tuck your right toe, lift the knee, standing split as you balance onto the left foot. Reaching high with the right foot, keeping the head heavy. Constant and steady breathing here. As you exhale, take a big step back with the right foot, both hands on the ground. Then lift the left arm up towards the ceiling, holding onto the twist. Deep breath in and out through the nose. Exhale, release the left hand on the ground and step back into your plank. Hold in plank. And then with control, start to bend your arms, preparing to lower all the way down on the ground. Lower the belly down on the mat. Deep breath in and out through the nose. Then cross the hands behind the back, keep the palms together and start to elevate the head, feet off the ground as you pull away with the hands. Finding the constant steady breathing in and out through the nose. Just one more deep breath here. And as you exhale, release lowering all the way down. Hands underneath the shoulders, lift yourself back up and make your way into your child's pose. Lower the forehead down on the ground, close your eyes. Taking this moment here to reconnect with the breathing and to slow the heartbeat down. Using the breath to center yourself again. As you take this moment to extend gratitude towards yourself for the time that you found. Be mindful that it doesn't matter how your practice looks like, what matters that you were here today. And you did show up for yourself. You can end your practice here with me or you can stay in Shavasana for a little bit longer, giving time to your body to take in all the benefits of this practice. 
Thank you so much for practicing with me. I hope you enjoyed this class. If you did, please make sure to leave me a thumbs up and to subscribe to my channel. I'll see you tomorrow, back on the mat.